everyone, welcome to the Youth Sport Trust After School Sports Club. Brilliant to have you with us. My name is Kate Gray. I'm going to be your host for today's session. I'm a former Paralympic swimmer um, and we're going to be focusing on some different skills today. And this is a really, really fun session for you to join us because we are partnering up with British Judo and we're going to also be joined by another athlete who you will get to meet in a moment, but I'm just gonna give her a bit of a shout out. Lucy Renshaw, can you hear me? Hello, I can hear Brilliant. you. So we've got Lucy Renshaw with us. She is the under 23 European champion as a judo athlete. So we're gonna have some amazing opportunities to learn some judo skills. I haven't done much judo before, so I'm going to be learning and you will as well. So really pleased to have you with us and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna get warmed up to start with. So I'm gonna lead the warm up. Then Lucy's gonna take over for the main part of the activity and then I will lead the cool down. So we'll get moving to start with. I can see Lucy is gonna be joining in with our warm up as well, just to make sure she's ready to go. And just to talk you through, so we'll just do a little bit of marching out to start with and we'll slowly get our heart rates going. Uh, just health and safety wise, make sure you're in a bit of a clear space so that you are not going to be tripping over or knocking anything. So make sure you stretch the side, stretch out in front, stretch out behind and make sure there's a lovely big space behind you so that nothing's going to get knocked over and also to make sure you're safe. I've got no shoes on because I've decided I'm upstairs on a carpet so I'm fine but make sure you've got appropriate kit on. You want to make sure you've got a drink up ready because we're going to be doing some breaks to have a bit of a drink and also equipment that you need. This is really important for Lucy's session. You are going to need a cushion or something soft or a teddy or a pillow. So make sure you've got one of those. If you haven't, go and grab it now. So make sure you've got something soft like a pillow. And for my part of the warm up, you just need something that you can create on the floor, like a line. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And if you haven't got anything, you can just pretend it's there, but just something to create a line. So we're just going to move into a jog now, just to warm up that little bit more um, and give those people a chance to get those bits of equipment if they haven't got it already. And in this session, we're going to be using a lot of our arms and a lot of our legs. So for our warm up, we're going to focus on those body parts. So if you've got yourself something like this, just put it through the middle of the room like that to create a bit of a line. And we're gonna focus on our legs to begin with. And all you need to do is start hopping from side to side over your line, trying to clear it nicely. You should start feeling your heart rate going up a little bit now and start feeling your legs working really hard. So once you're a little bit out of breath, that's fine. Take it easy for a second, march it out. And then we'll go again. So this is really working on our quads, our hamstrings, our ankles, our knees, because in judo, there's a lot of movement, a lot of rolling around, and Lucy will tell you all about that. But this is just a chance to get nice and warm, okay? So going again, jumping back and forth. Great job, everybody. Everyone loves to hop around on a Thursday afternoon. Okay, this time we are gonna hop. So this time, choose one of your legs. We'll go side to side like this. You might find you've got one leg better than the other. Switch over. Oh, I can already feel myself getting quite warmed up now. Oh, okay, march it out. See if you can go back and do one of your weaker legs again on the hopping because I definitely wasn't very good on one of my legs. So let's try again and we can even go forwards and backwards over your line. You should start feeling your calf muscles really warming up now. I'm really getting prepared for the session ahead. Switch over, check my lines nice and safe and we'll go again. Great job everybody. And then we'll do last ones on our legs, we can take this down a little bit now. We wanna take a seat and we're gonna do some ankle movements. What I'd like you to do is to write the alphabet with your feet. So A, B, C, D, E. You can do little or big letters. 
F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Whoa, that was a good memory game. My feet and ankles are well warmed up. And then the next part is we're just gonna warm up our arms. So really nice and simple. Let's do some rotations. I've got a light just here, so I'm being really careful not to knock over the light. So forwards and backwards on that side. As a swimmer, I used to do a lot of this sort of warm up because I was not allowed to get in the pool until I was fully activating my shoulders. So nice, backwards and forwards. See if you're feeling really clever. Do alternating forwards and backwards. That was always a good sign that you were well coordinated. Let's see if you can switch around as well. Really getting good rotation. And now we're gonna swing our arms side to side, round and round. Really getting that torso and that shoulder movement going. We're almost there guys, we're almost ready to learn some new judo skills. Just finally, what we are gonna do is our wrists. Now, if you can, if you've got two hands, not like me, you can clasp your hands together and do some, some movements with your hands because I know in judo there's a lot of wrist movement. So you really wanna get those nice and warm. But if you're like me or you wanna do it like me, just do some nice rotations of the arms. So make sure you're all ready. Okay. Shake it out guys, warm up is done. Just grab yourself a drink very quickly. We're gonna make sure you've got plenty of time to have some drink and breaks in these sessions. Just give you a little bit of background. So these sessions have been running since before Christmas and they now run every Tuesday and Thursday at five o'clock. You Sport Trust is hosting them and you'll always have an athlete mentor like myself uh, leading them and they'll be all the way up until Easter. So make sure you come and join as many of them as you can. And it's a brilliant way for you to stay active, particularly because of the situation we find ourselves in at the moment where we can't go to school sports clubs and we can't go to our own clubs outside of school. This is just a really great way to stay active, learn some new skills. So when we can finally get back together, we'll be just as good and just as ready to pick up where we left off. And that's a real passion of the Youth Sport Trust, which is the charity behind running these sessions. They all wanna improve sport and PE for young people so they can stay physically active no matter what is going on, like a COVID pandemic. So that's a little bit about the, uh, the background of the clubs. I'm going to step back now and I'm going to hand over to our special guest today, judo athlete Lucy Renshaw. She's a European champion in the under 23 age category and she's going to be taking us through some really, really cool judo stuff. So Lucy, over to you. Tell us what we need to know about judo. Hello everybody. I'm really happy to be doing a session for you guys today. So some of you may know that judo is a martial art and it comes all the way from Japan. So the judo, the terms that I'll be using today will be Japanese. So it's a good way to learn a different language. So in judo, to start off a contest or a training session, we bow. And bowing in judo is called rei. So first of all, while we're starting on the ground, we're going to just kneel up with our hands on our knees. And I'm going to say Ray, and all we're going to do is put our hands on the floor and lean forward. So everyone ready? Ray. And there we go. So that means the session started and that's just showing a sign of respect. Right. So let's get into the session. We're all nice and warm. So what we're going to do is start with some groundwork. So in judo, the term for groundwork is knee waza. So we're going to start and do some skills that I do in training. And these skills um, are individual skills. So judo is you need a partner to compete or to train, but you can still do skills at home because unfortunately some people don't have a partner. So we can still do skills at home to make our judo a little bit better. So we're gonna start off lying down on our backs 
with our knees up like this. So the skill is bridging. So we're gonna lift our hips up so we're not resting on the floor. With our left hand, we're gonna lean over our right shoulder as far as we can, keeping our hips up, okay? And with our right hand over our left shoulder. So we're gonna try to do 10 without putting our hips down. Okay, so after me, hips up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And rest your hips. We're gonna see if we can go through it three times, but each time we're gonna try and speed it up just a little bit, okay? So a good technique, feet flat on the floor, hips up and we're going to go for 10 more. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Good work. So you should feel this in your core because you're stretching really far and we do this because in, in Niwaza, in groundwork, you can be held down. So just imagine now, someone's on top of me holding me down. I need to bridge and turn to get out of the hold down. So this is a perfect skill to practice to make your groundwork better. Okay, we're gonna go with the last set of this, but we're gonna try and speed it up. So keeping your hips up, we still want good technique. And we're gonna go as fast as you can now. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay. So I explained what that skill was about, getting out of a technique, a, a groundwork technique. So the second skill we're going to do is called a kick out. Now, you're going to go on your feet and bend your feet and put your hands down here in front. Now the idea of this is to move the hips in the ground. You need to be able to move in all directions to turn your partner over. So we're gonna start like this. Take one hand off the floor and step through. Now notice I'm not sitting on the floor, I'm just stepping through. Balance it and back to the start position. And the other side, okay? Remember, I'm not sitting down, I'm just resting, okay? and swap over. So everyone got that? We're gonna go for 10 again, just like before. This one's just not about speed, just technique, okay? So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And just a little rest, and we're gonna do that two more times. So let's progress, let's try and make it a little bit faster. Just like break dancing. <laughs> so everyone ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. One more round, you should be a bit out of breath like me. I definitely am, Lucy. <laughs> so this one, as fast as you can. If you can go faster than my counting, perfect. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, guys. Now, we have one more groundwork skill. So, you want everyone on the floor? Just like the bowing position. What we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up, but we're gonna stay low. So you ready? Jump up, okay? If that's a little bit too hard for you, what I want you to do is step up, but fast as you can. Okay, this is good, because you know you do standing and groundwork, so you wanna be able to change as fast as you can. So jump up, I'm staying squatted. When I come down, I'm just slowly coming down. Don't want to hurt your knees. So this one's intense, so we're just going to do five. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. One, slowly come down. Don't rush this one. Two, slowly down. Three, good work guys. 
four, and last one, five. Perfect. Now just one more round of that, just one more. Everyone ready, remember? That's fine as well, stepping up. So let's go. One, slowly back down. Two, back down. Three, good work, two more. Four, and last one, five. Good work guys, so everyone get a quick drink and we'll get ready for the next part of the session. Amazing, thank you Lucy. I've really enjoyed that already. I feel like I've learnt some new skills. Is it Niwashi, is that the word is that I'm saying right? Niwaza, very close. Niwaza, <laughs> very close. Okay, so while Lucy grabs a drink, um, just to get us all connected, I just want to promote the hashtag that we're using for these clubs. So if you want to show off the brilliant skills that you're learning today, please use the hashtag YST after school and maybe get someone in your family or in your house to take a photo and share it on their social media so that you can connect with all the other people that's also running and taking part in these sessions. You can also tag in British Judo to show that you're here taking part in some judo activities. You can tag myself and Lucy in there as well. If you follow the Youth Sport Trust on social media and if you hashtag YST after school, then you'll be able to see all of the people that have been taking part in these activities and show them that we're really staying active, even in these crazy times. So hopefully you've had yourself a little drink. Um, I've already felt like I'm learning those brilliant judo skills and Lucy makes it look easy because she's a full on professional athlete at the moment, but um, she's gonna take us on to the next part of the session. Okay guys, so like I said, groundwork, is called Niwaza. So standing is called Tachiwaza. So now we're going to go into Tachiwaza. So the aim of today, we're going to learn a judo throw. But to get warm to learn a judo throw, we need to be fast in our feet. Our reactions need to be perfect, okay? So we're going to start with a little game. So all the time when you're facing me on the camera, I want you jogging on the spot as fast as you can. And if I shout right, you have to jump to your right and back to the middle and keep jogging on the spot. I can shout left, jump and back to the middle. Keep jogging on the spot. Now, if I say jump, watch your surroundings. I want you to jump and clap. Okay, and keep jogging on the spot at all times. I can say down. I want you to touch your bottoms on the floor. Stand up, keep jogging. Okay, and the last command is 360. So 360 all the way around. Now, if you can't do it, not to worry. Do two half jumps. One, two, and keep jogging, okay? So we're gonna go for two minutes, just to get warm, get our reactions good. Let's go, jogging on the spot. And jump. Keep jogging. Down. Touch your bum, stand up, perfect. Left. Left. I trick some people. And turn right. Keep jogging. 360. Perfect. Now, listen carefully. If you did 360 facing one way, we're gonna do it the other way, 360. Perfect, 30 more seconds, keep jogging. And left, and right, 360, and down. Perfect, good work guys. So, everyone's reaction is gonna be really good now, really fast and up to speed, ready to learn a judo throw. So, for those of you who have not done judo, Judo is really traditional. And this judo throw I'm going to teach is probably the first judo throw you will learn if you start judo. So it's called Taiyotoshi. That's the Japanese term. And in England, English, that means body draw. Okay, so to start with, if everyone can see me, we're going to do three easy steps. So I'm going to face this way. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start with my right foot. And I'm going to put it forward, just one step. So everyone do that. And then with the opposite foot, the left foot, still facing forward, I'm gonna put it to the side here. So that's step two. Now, with the right foot, the one I put forward first, I'm gonna step and face the opposite way. And there should be a triangle with my legs. Okay, so just watch me as we go and we'll pick it up. Step one, 
first leg in the middle. Step two, left leg to the side. Step three, turn, make a triangle and face the opposite direction. Have we all got that? So let's go for it again. Remember, I'm right-handed, but if you're left-handed, not a problem, we'll do it left. So left foot in the middle, right foot round, left foot face the opposite direction, make a triangle with your legs. I'll do it this way for you. One foot in the middle, second step, third step. Can you see the triangle? One foot in the middle, second step, third step. I've made a triangle, okay. So if we've got that, we're gonna go a little bit faster. So we're gonna step, step, step. There's three steps, remember. One, two, three. See if you can speed up with me. One, two, three. Perfect, and again, one, two, three. Nice work, guys. So what's really important when you're doing judo, you want good posture, you need a tight core. We don't want you bending here, okay? You want to bend at the knees like this. So as you're doing the throw, keep your knees soft. Step forward, I'm looking up, my body's straight. Second step, third step. Now my legs are not stiff, they're still bent, okay? So, loose on your feet. One step, two step, three step. Perfect. Now we look like we've all got that. So now I want you to pick up your pillow or your cushion. Don't worry if you've not got one. Just carry on what we was doing. So, right-handed. Right hand at the top of the pillow. Your left hand is at the bottom. Now if you're left-handed, switch it round. Okay, so the pillow's in front of me. The pillow's my opponent. I'm gonna step, I'm facing my opponent. One step. Second, I'm still facing my opponent. Third, I'm gonna bring my opponent round. Okay, let's do that again. Opponent's in front of you. This is your opponent's back. Hands are in position, bending at the knees. Step one, step two, step three. Throw your opponent, bring your opponent round. Okay, perfect. Now this time we're gonna throw our opponent. So, same again. Right foot in the middle, step around, Step three, now when I pull my arms across, I'm gonna let go of the pillow. And this is the back of my opponent. I want the back on the floor. And stand up. Okay, left handed, let's go. Left hand up, right hand down. Loose at the knees, step one, step two, step three. Throw my opponent on the back. That's it on, you've just won the, you've just won the contest. Okay, a few more, right. We're gonna see if we can speed it up now, guys. Ready? On your feet, hands in position. One, two, three. Throw your opponent. And back up. Let's do five. Ready? One, two, three. Throw your opponent. Two. Hands in position, knees bent. One, two, three. Three. Two more. One, two, three. Four. Well done, guys. Last one. One, two, three. Perfect. Now in judo, most people have a dominant side. So I have a dominant right side, but I do try my hardest to practice on the left. So it's really important because people might throw you on the left, the people that are left-handed. So you need to learn it all, but you will be better on one side. That's not to worry. So if any of you guys can practice it on the left and make it as equal as your right, or practice it on the right and make it as equal on your left, that would be perfect and I'd love to see it. So that's the session done. I'm going to pass over to Kate for a cool down, but it was really good working with you guys and I hope you really enjoyed learning a bit of judo. Amazing, Lucy. I loved that. Everyone just grab yourself a drink. We'll have a quick drink and then we'll do a bit of a cool down. But I was really getting into that throwing. I was like taking out all my aggression on my pillow. It sounded like I was going for it, but I did also knock out my lamp. But I'm always <laughs> always doing something but that was really really interesting Lucy and thank you for breaking it down for us because as you said we don't all have partners at home that we can be practicing on but it's a great way to show how people are uh, keeping active and we're going to do a cool down I'm going to do some stretching Lucy's going to join us as well and also we're going to use this time to also find out a little about, bit about Lucy and her sport so what we're going to do if you just shake yourselves out guys find yourself a bit of space 
We're just going to do some really simple leg exercises and stretches and we're going to chat while we're doing this and Lucy will join in as well. So I'm sure Lucy is quite practiced at doing stretching and stuff. But what you want to do is just hold the stretch for five to ten seconds. Only stretch it to a point where it feels comfortable and you can feel a bit of a pull, but don't hurt yourself and just keep it nice and relaxed. But uh, Lucy, with you joining us on this uh, session, it'd be great to know how you actually got into judo because it's not the same, the average sport that you do every day, is it? No, it's definitely not the average sport. I mean, before I started judo, I'd never even heard of it. Um, so when I was eight years old, I was in primary school and a judo club coach came to my primary school to demonstrate judo. And then there was an opportunity to do six judo sessions and I remember running out of school and telling my mom I really want to do judo like I was super sporty in school and it was something I definitely wanted to try so she agreed so I did the six week sessions and if I'm honest the, my favorite part was the games I loved playing the games and I was super competitive so when I was eight I did them six sessions and after that I didn't look back I went to the judo club in Newtonley Willows and I loved it ever since amazing and it is like the sort of sport that you wouldn't probably experience at school is it but actually once you try something new you do find that you've got these new skills that you never thought of so you've obviously achieved so much in your career already what's been your proudest moment or your highlight so one of my proudest moments was definitely the under 23 european championships um at the age i was it was the biggest competition so i was really proud of myself there but then also my first ever senior Europeans that I competed in, I got a bronze medal. So that really stood out for me. Um, it showed that I was progressing in the right way. Um, and it, yeah, that would probably be my best and proudest moment, just to know that I'd, I was making it on the senior level as well as junior and under 23. Amazing. And we don't want to jinx anything. And we, we know there's a lot of uncertainty, but you are training, hoping to compete in Tokyo, aren't you? And it's, it's obviously a difficult time, but it would be a dream of yours, I'm guessing, to compete at an Olympic Games. Yes, definitely. So the last Olympics, actually, in Rio, I went there as a training partner. So I got to see the atmosphere, see how it feels. And I remember that I was like, yes, this is definitely what I want to do. I want to go to an Olympic Games. So for the past four years, I've trained extra hard, um, and I'm hoping to qualify for these Summer Olympics. Well, we'll keep everything crossed because obviously, one, we want to keep our fingers crossed that the Games actually go ahead. <laughs> and then also that you'll be there competing for, for Great Britain. And really great to hear your insight as well and hear from a different athlete in a different sport. So thank you so much. And we've loved your session. Uh, if you're still with us, make sure you're just stretching out your arms as well, because obviously we've done quite a lot of work on our arms and our legs and anywhere that you feel like you need a little bit of a stretch maybe it's your your middle maybe it's your sides whatever you feel because it definitely was a real whole body workout uh, judo i can't believe how much core strength you guys need even though you're just running around in your pajamas aren't you lucy <laughs> okay so just a few little messages before we finish obviously this has been a Youth Sport Trust After School Sports Club, but it's been in partnership with British Judo. And we've really loved partnering up with the sport and finding out a bit more about something a bit different and hopefully giving you an insight into what's out there for you. Please do keep an eye on the British Judo social media page because they're looking to maybe do some similar clubs like this. So if you want to find out a bit more about Judo and learn some more skills and Lucy's just giving you a bit of a flavour of what you can expect from that, then keep an eye on the British Judo social media pages and hopefully we'll find out if there's something similar to this that you can come along to. But in the meantime, these sessions will be running every Tuesday and Thursday at five o'clock all the way up until Easter. There'll be a different athlete mentor on each week and we'll also be joined at different times by a, a, a national governing body as well. So next week we should be joined by triathlon. Um, so it'll be brilliant to kind of get some insight into that sport. And the theme next week is gonna be aquatics. So this week it's been about combat and gymnastics. Next week, it's all about aquatics. So as a swimmer, I'm really pleased about that because obviously swimming is a great sport as well. 
But for now, thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to use the hashtag YST after school to show that you've been taking part in these sessions. And also give us a bit of feedback. If there's a particular sport that you want us to try out or there's some activities that you would like to share with us, then please use the hashtag. Um, maybe it's a family member or a parent that can tweet it or put it on Facebook and we'll keep an eye out and, and hopefully share that with the group so we can make these clubs really, really specific to what you want. On. But for now, that's it from myself and Lucy. Thank you so much, Lucy, for joining us and uh, best of luck with all your training and competitions coming up and fingers crossed for Tokyo. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon in the future. But for now, have a good evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye.